I'm about to go over what is happening with the crypto market and why you should be very concerned with what is happening short term, okay? And also Do Kwan, I have some pretty crazy news about what's happening with him right now. But first, please like and subscribe. Check us down below for our CT Club where you get our trade alerts, portfolio updates, and you get to see what the heck we are doing in this market. We are doing a lot. Okay, so <clears throat> let me go over Do Kwan first. So just as Heidi said yesterday that Do Kwan would probably not cooperate with investigators. Well, today, uh, South Korean prosecutors say Luna founder Do Kwon is on the run and not cooperating with an investigation. So it's kind of obvious. It, we can see a consistent pattern with this guy that he is very dangerous and also he should not be in this space building things. He should not have any trust. The, the crypto space should definitely blacklist this guy completely okay there's some people that really like him on crypto twitter and that have big accounts and stuff which is really strange considering the crap he's putting the market through and but you know what i'm glad the free market is probably going to just boot this guy and not allow him to really gain any traction in the future so next up why did the crypto market just collapse you know just all of a sudden bleh, just barfed you know a hundred or a thousand points or, or 1500 points well there's some very interesting things what's happening in the bond market the bond market is what is driving this these lower prices okay so the bond market uh sold off a little bit and reached 3.56 percent i think and right now it's about 3.5 percent so you know what, the stock market hates that, you know, because people are wanting US dollars. So they, they freak out, it, the, it's risk off when, when the bond market sells off and people go into dollars and, and everything sells off. It's gold, silver, uh, stocks, Bitcoin, everything, especially Bitcoin, when Bitcoin drops, everything drops. And not only did it drop, but check this out. So we had $121 million in Bitcoin positions that had dropped over the past 24 hours. We also had $400 million in liquidations on in ETH over the past $24. But the, the interesting thing is we had 19,075 Bitcoin worth over $351 million that have been taken off exchanges over the past seven days. So that means whales are actually accumulating dirt down here, which we have been accumulating in our CT club down here, which is amazing. And if we, if we drop more, which I've said that we probably will drop a little bit more just because I've seen this sell off in the debt market, I think that we will have even greater opportunities and we have been raising a little bit of cash for that. So, um, yeah, exciting times, you know, especially if you're not leveraged, if you are leveraged, man, you're nuts. Like if you're over leveraged, I should say, it's kind of crazy right now. I would just chill out because there is a Federal Reserve meeting this week that's that's going to dictate, you know, whether or not the market falls or not even more. So what people are saying is there's like a one in five chance of this, the uh, federal, federal fund rate to go to 100 basis points, go up 100, 100 basis points. But I think it's probably going to be around 75 basis points. And what does this mean? It means nothing. It doesn't mean anything because inflation right now, CPI, which is government inflation, which doesn't include food or fuel. I'll keep saying this because people need to learn this. Uh, they, it's around 8.1%. Okay. So unless they raise the federal fund rate to at least 8.1%, we know that they're not serious about inflation and they're literally creating a hyperinflationary environment that could be really dangerous especially as bond, if bond yields continue going up because that's a debt market selling up you know and then you could have a serious credit crisis okay you can have a credit freeze up um, and that would really hurt the stock market and it would hurt bitcoin temporarily until they realize crap then the dollar is going to collapse after that if that happens and then they're going to dump all their anything they can into the hardest asset the world has ever seen that doesn't have an el elastic supply. Okay. So yes, you can see that, you know, these guys are a bunch of freaking criminals. And, uh, if you don't, if you don't believe me, check out this book called creature from Jekyll Island from G Edward Griffith. It's a great book. It teaches about the federal reserve and kind of gets you thinking about what is in their head, you know, then you can start thinking about, 
what they are doing, what they are probably going to do, and if you were them, what would you do? You know, if you wanted to do what they wanted to eventually do, which is literally buy up the entire world and have everybody's slaves underneath them. Okay, but anyways, that's on another story. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.